Let's talk about one of the uh, most popular players ever to play in this state. Now, I'm not talking about the best player. That's a different discussion. The most popular. If it's not Steve Alford, he's definitely in the top two or three. Steve Alford spent some of his youth in Martinsville, Indiana, where his dad, Sam, was the head coach. Then Sam got an offer to coach at Perennial Power, Newcastle. But Steve wasn't too keen on moving. My four years I was in Martinsville was the Jerry Seastein era. Uh, and it the IFB got better. pulled right out. Uh, and I, I really learned about competitive basketball there. And uh, Dad knew it was going to be hard to move. And when the Newcastle job came open, the first place he took me was the field house. And that was smart because that's the only place he needed to take me to see that building and see it empty. 10,000 seated arena, see the banner, world's largest and finest high school field house in the world. I, I knew that uh, that's where I wanted to play. Well, I think everybody knew about him at Newcastle, especially his senior year. Uh, I don't know, he averaged 37 points or something. Um, and the, yeah, I mean, he was Indiana's favorite schoolboy. Indiana's favorite schoolboy had been going to Bob Knight's basketball camp since third grade. So it was no surprise when Steve chose to play at Indiana, where he had great success. He made the 1984 Olympic team. He was a two-time All-American. And to top it all off, Steve led the Hoosiers to the 1987 National Championship. While you were at Indiana, I can't think of a more popular player that's ever played at IU. And you were, you were as famous as anybody in this state while you were there. What was, what was that like to be that famous while you were still in college? Well, I think because a lot of people just, they could see me as themselves. I think fans could kind of look at somebody that, you know, that I could be that person, you know. And so I think there was a great rapport. Uh, I was the Indiana kid. I was born here. I was raised here. Uh, so to play high school ball here and then go to the state university uh, and to play for Coach Knight, I, I think it was just a... And I think the Olympics experience, all of that marketing, uh, obviously really helped. So I, I was very blessed and fortunate that we were able to, to win a national championship for such an incredible fan base. After graduating from Indiana, Steve spent four years in the NBA before embarking on a coaching career that now sees him running one of the most storied programs in the history of college basketball, UCLA. What was it like to walk into Pauley Pavilion look at the banners and know that John Wooden sat on that same bench that you sit on. What was that like when you walked in there for the first time? One of the most humbling experiences I've ever had, very surreal to this day, uh, but extremely humbling because going back, as we talked earlier, my first through fourth grade was at Martinsville High School, same gym Coach Wooden played in. I was born 26 miles. I was born right here in Franklin. So I was born 26 miles from Coach Wooden. So Coach won his last in 75. Coach Knight wins his first in 76. So as an elementary kid, the two icons in my life that I grew up just being around was Coach Wooden and Coach Knight. Uh, I'd lived the Coach Knight era of having the blessing and opportunity. Coach Knight gave me that opportunity to play for him. Um, and now, 20 some years later in the coaching profession that I have an opportunity to coach where Coach Wooden coached, it's been a true blessing. I've been extremely blessed in so many ways.